Jobless tenants made me lose my property and my family. A bit of background. Eight months ago I wanted to get into real estate. I bought a single family which needed some renovations and fixed it up using money I borrowed from family and friends. I told them I would get them a solid return on their investment after I fixed it up and started renting it out. Well, the renovations ended up costing more than anticipated so my parents tapped into their 401k to help me out. Everything was going great. Then I finally got my first tenants. I was charging $3,900 mo about $200 higher than local average. But the place was just remodeled. They gave me the deposit and paid for the first two months. Then the money stopped. The couple that moved in both lost their jobs during the wave of tech layoffs. They stopped paying rent and the bills started racking up. Five months go by and now I'm severely behind on mortgage payments and used all my money in court. Trying to get him out. I was forced to sell the property at a significant loss and now I'm severely in debt. In this, I lost all the money my friends and family gave to me. Including a significant portion of my parents' retirement fund. These tenants ruined my life and all my relationships. My parents won't even talk to me now. As soon as you said your parents dipped into their 401k I knew this would be bad. How old are you? Op. Your family and friends were naive for lending you money. If someone asked me for a similar loan. I'd ask what did the bank say. Real estate is an investment. And investments are a gamble. That's why when you win, you have large gains. If it wasn't such a risk, everyone would do it. That's why the rich get richer. They have the funds to play with. For you, a loss of 75k has ruined your personal finances and relationships. For someone else, a loss of 75k is a bitter pill to swallow. But they learn from it and move on because they made 10x that from their other investments. Throughout the fiscal year. You didn't know what you were doing and took a lot of money from friends and family. I would nt talk to you either. Is Fweddel Lord Cuckold fantasy a genre yet? Your dad has dementia and you say he knew the risk he was taking. Dude. You're a shitty kid. Better find a new job and pay your parents back. This feels like a shit post but if it's not. You wildly overextended yourself and shook down your friends and family. Now they're mad because you had no idea what being a landlord is. It's not buy property get free returns every month. Property getting damaged. Market turning. Tenants not paying. All part of the assumed risk of owning rental properties. You couldn't even afford the core by yourself and had no buffer. You know who else had no buffer? Your tenants who lost the job. A $3,900 mo house covered almost a million dollar mortgage when interest rates were low. Well, that sucks. You have just fucked around and found out. Sorry. The tenants didn't ruin your life. You ruined it by being a greedy fuck and making a series of very poor financial decisions. Better go get a job so you can pay all those people back you extorted and stop depending on others. To pay your bills. Maybe you should pull yourself up by your bootstraps and get a job. So you took a risk with other people's money and got into a high-risk venture with no backup plans. Because you thought hey, I could totally be a landlord. Let this be an abject lesson to you. Op. The only people here that might feel sorry for you are other landlord and bootlickers. The rest of us. Not so much. We feel no remorse when parasites suffer. Did you even vet these tenants by the way? I can promise you most people aren't gonna give a fuck that landlord lost all their money. 
Also, the irony and hypocrisy here. You lost your income and it's because the people that give you a check fucked you and you want pity. But those same people also lost both of their jobs but you apparently don't give a fuck. It's just they screwed me over. No. You played yourself. You invested a lot of other people's money into a venture that you clearly knew nothing about and fucked up. I wouldn't talk to you again either. Are we supposed to feel bad? When a worker loses a house. They're homeless. When a landlord loses a house. They've got to get a job. Honestly. I don't feel bad for you. You thought you could get rich quick. Overextended yourself. And made promises to lenders you couldn't keep. You got what you deserve. I'll sleep better tonight knowing this. A bit of background. Eight months ago I wanted to get into real estate. I bought a single family which needed some renovations and fixed it up using money I borrowed from family and friends. And what exactly made you think this was a good idea? Did you honestly believe that all renters are perfect and will not damage your property and make payments on time? Every time? X200B. I was charging $3,900 mo about $200 higher than local average. But the place was just remodeled. You're a douchebag. Haha <laughs> when I saw how much you charge for rent I was disgusted. I don't care what average rent is. 4,000 goddamn dollars to just live somewhere is a fucking crime. Sounds like you're gonna have to get a real job now, huh bud? No more being a leech for you. LMAO maybe don't rely on stealing other people's income to make a living. Mao get fucked. You will get no sympathy from us. Literally all the shit you described is why there is a rental crisis in the United States. And all you made was a string of bad decisions with money. This is not your tenant's fault. They are certainly not blameless. But this is you not understanding how cash flow works. It's almost like maybe you should get a real job instead of being a landlord. Oh no the tiny lord lost his money. Well, not his money. Let me fix the title for you. I took a stupid fucking risk and now I'm paying the consequences. What is it you assholes say? Her der business owners take all the risk so they deserve to make shit tons of money and pay people. As little as possible. Fuck off. You took a risk. A very misguided one. It didn't pay off. It's nobody's fault but your own. It never ceases to amaze me that real estate people feel entitled to make money on their investments 100 of the time. Pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Chuckle fuck. You got in over your head doing something that you didn't know how to do. 100 your fault. Stop blaming others for your mistake. You seriously thought people would pay $3,900 a month to rent a single family. Congratulations on being part of the problem with the housing market. Honestly good all landlords everywhere can fuck right off. THIRY 900 fucking dollars for rent. My wife and I have talked about getting into real estate for our whole marriage. We wanted to provide a nice place for someone who wasn't ready to make the commitment of buying yet. I.e. college kid. Young couple. Etc. But 10 years later. We're finally in a position to do so and we have lost all interest average rent in our area is $2,300 month. And neither of us have the heart to look another human in the eye and ask them for that large of a monthly subscription to survival at $3,900 month. How the fuck did you even sleep at night? Get owned landlord LMAO.